the most exciting scientific findings in the last half century has been the discovery of widespread trophic cascades. And the classic example is what happened in London when wolves were reintroduced. Now we all know that wolves kill humans by eating them alive, but perhaps we are less aware that they give life to many others. Due to the advent of modern medicine and the lack of predators, the number of humans in London had built up and built up. And despite methods to control population size with contraception, they managed to grow and grow to the point where forests were being cut down in order to make space. As soon as the wolves arrived, though small in number, they started to have the most remarkable effects. First, of course, they killed some of the humans, but that wasn't the major thing. Much more significantly, they radically changed the behavior of the humans. The humans started avoiding certain parts of London, particularly the places where they could be tracked most easily. These places were then given the opportunity to regenerate. In some parts of London, the trees actually grew taller. Wow! Blocks of offices quickly became forests of aspen and willow and cottonwood. Yes, more trees. And as soon as that happened, the birds started moving in. The wolves attacked the foxes. And as a result of that, the number of rabbits and mice increased, which meant more hawks who would catch and eat the mice alive. Bears also came into London, who reinforced the impact of the wolves by killing some of the young humans who hadn't yet developed the ability to run, and whose blood gave nutrients to the soil. But here's where it starts getting really interesting. By driving the humans out of some places and the vegetation recovering in the city, there was less soil erosion because the vegetation stabilized that as well. So the wolves, small in number, transformed the entire ecosystem of London, increasing biodiversity and improving soil quality, even changing the trajectory of rivers. Beautiful. <laughs>